How you doing guys? Welcome to another episode. And if you can see in this episode, I'm gonna paint my hairs again. And uh, the paint supposed to look like this, right? So I was using this VHT flame proof paint and uh, this is a very high temperature uh, paint. But if you can see, uh, supposed to be for headers. And this paint receives from 1300 to 2000 Fahrenheit. This paint is supposed to be good for it. But if you can see, it didn't do a good job. I'm gonna remove my headers. So the only thing that I need to do is remove these Allen keys, remove my oxygen sensor, and disconnect three bolts on the bottom. And I'm gonna put the link on the description from the video that I make uh, when I replace my headers. So you wanna get a full detail a video on how to remove and how to install headers. Uh, I'm gonna put the that video on the description and in this case I already did this once this video so in this case I'm not gonna go in detail I just gonna paint it now this time I bought this so this video is not sponsor I pay for this with my own money so in this case when I use this paint this is for uh, grills this is high heat ultra paint and on this paint if you can see uh, the resistant heat is a little bit less then the other paint this is for 1200 degrees but uh, i'm gonna try this one because for some reason that one didn't work in my car i'm gonna let it dry at least for a day and then tomorrow i'm gonna come and start the car let it run and see if this paint works if this one works well then you know what to do in case that you have hairs and you want to paint them so let's get to it also guys to remove the oxygen sensor you can use this socket this is special for oxygen sensors it's open so with this one you remove the oxygen sensor but in case that you have a 22 millimeter you can use this one too So preparation is key, after I remove all the paint, I'm going to use some alcohol, clean it with alcohol, and then I'm going to start painting. Probably I'm going to shoot three coats, I'm going to go really thick, first one has to be light, second one a, a little bit heavier, and the third coat, maybe even four coats, depends how it looks. Uh, I'm not going to show you in detail, uh, because this video, I already did it before, like I said, I'm not going to show you in detail how to prep how to paint i um, just wanted to see if that paint is gonna be good for my hairs if it's not good i'm gonna have to go and do something else but uh, the hair doesn't look good so i'm gonna go back to black the original color and uh, hopefully this paint uh, works good because i want to see my hairs with paint okay guys and uh, if you can see after like uh, 30 minutes of sanding I only use 400 grit. That's all I use. Uh, now all the paint is gone. On both sides. So I'm just gonna bring the alcohol, clean them, uh, use some uh, brand new gloves to don't leave any grease from my hands in the in the headers, and just clean them right away after you use the alcohol. Uh, when you already get him uh, prepped to paint, as soon as you put the alcohol, let it dry, and then you start you start applying the paint. Now for the last step, 
Let's grab our alcohol. Put it on the towel. Let's go for the first coat. I already applied the second coat. I wait five minutes between coats and uh, everything looks really good. Both sides. Okay guys, if you can see, we finished painting four coats and uh, hair it look amazing. And uh, I just finished like 10 minutes ago. I give it a four coats. I'm gonna wait, I think until tomorrow to put it back in the car. I can tell right away that this paint is a lot better because the original paint, I start seeing burning marks right here on top and the red paint that I put after that one, I see the same thing. So after like a minute of starting the car, you can tell I don't see any marks on top. Obviously they're gonna start smoking, that's normal. But I can tell right away that that paint uh, works a lot better. That right there that you can see in camera, that's just a reflection. I don't see any burning spots on these haters right now. So actually the paint works really good. I just can't believe the a grill paint works better than the other one. So there you have it guys. I'm not a sponsor. I paid for this with my own money. But I can tell you that this paint works really good. So this is for grill. And uh, I don't see any marks on the headers right now. I think the paint works really good. So this one works a lot better than this one. And uh, you see right here in the, in the video. Paint is still really good. And uh, I don't see any burning marks. So at the end if you have headers you want to paint them. Uh, this paint is the way to go for my experience this works a lot better so there you have it guys uh, hopefully this paint is gonna stay like that for a long time and uh, that's how you use that paint and uh, actually uh, that paint was just a lot better so I hope you like this video guys thanks for watching see you on the next one Peace.